Hi guys. Okay, so today I'm going to show you three of my favorite stretches. Okay, it's day 81 of 100, um, but this is not going to be my workout video. This is just in addition to the day 81 workout video. Um, I just want to show you three of my favorite stretches. So the first one is for your upper back area. It's down, yeah, I can feel it when I do it down into rhomboids, mid traps, upper traps, all the way through. It's basically relax your, relax your shoulders and neck. So you're going to take a towel. You can actually do this without a towel, but I, and I'll show you in a second. You take a towel and you grab it close together, your fists close together like this, and then you want to pull it like you are trying to rip the towel in half. You pull it and you, as you continue to pull it out, you're pushing it away from your body. So you're punching away from your body and ripping the towel apart at the same time. Now you're doing those two things at the same time. Now drop your shoulders away from your ears. So you're pushing your shoulders away from your ears, you're ripping the towel and you're reaching forward. Now drop your chin. Ooh. All right, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna roll my head up and relax it down and I'm gonna show you um, a profile. Or I guess I can show you uh, sort of back wise. All right, so you're gonna have the towel. If you don't have a towel, you can cross your hands like this and push your palms together. It works just as well. Push your palms together, and as you're pushing you, those palms together, you reach away from your body, reach, 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 push your palms together. Now drop your shoulders away from your ears, keep pushing together, and drop your chin. Oh my gosh. This has gotta be the best stretch ever. So keep reaching, pushing, and dropping those shoulders, and drop your chin. Now if you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can take your right ear. As you're doing all of those things, take it right down to your right shoulder. Breathe. Take it down to your left shoulder. Breathe. And then roll the chin up. Ah, okay. That stretch, um, I think it might be the best stretch in the world because it really releases and stretches all of this area, your neck and even down through the back of your arms. Okay, so that's my first favorite one. Don't need this anymore. Second favorite one is for your um, quads, okay? A lot of people stretch out their hamstrings. You see them like reaching, doing stretches. They don't stretch out their quads properly. So I'm going to scoot my little mat slash blanket toward the wall here, all right? Now, from your hands and knees, you want to put the knee of the leg that you're trying to stretch toward the corner where the wall meets the floor and then put your foot up on the wall, okay? So this is the beginning. Now you're gonna take the opposite foot and bring it up, okay? Some people at this point would be like, oh my gosh, crazy massive stretch. But if you can, bring it up. Aha! Okay, this is literally, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's not even hot in here. Ah! Sweating because my muscles are like, what are you doing? This is an amazing stretch for your quad. You want to make sure you have something squishy underneath your knee. You don't want to do it on a hardwood floor without a pad. But, um, oh. so I like to hold this stretch for about 30 seconds and then slowly come down to your hand, hands and then release this leg. Oh, and then you can do the other side. Knee goes back, foot up, flat foot and bring it up. And just push into this leg if you can. Bring yourself up, and this back leg is, that quad is stretching like crazy. Okay, oh, and I actually need this stretch right now. Okay, so this is my second favorite stretch. All right, and the last one is actually a yoga um, pose. It's called pigeon. There's a couple different ways to get into pigeon, but um, I do it this way, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you wanna be on your hands and knees. Now you're gonna take one knee up to the same palm, like this. Now drag your foot up toward this palm as much as you can, that's your position. Now once you're in this position, you're going to creep your back leg, creep, creep, creep it back. So now you are sitting like this. So you're sort of sitting the knee out nice and wide and oh, already stretching. From this position, you wanna walk yourself down, so that you are laying on your leg and release and just relax your entire body. If you can't come all the way down like that and you're right here, that's fine. 
Try to relax your head anyway. Feel safe that the weight of your body is gonna just open that hip and it's not going to hurt you, okay? So walk yourself down and just lay on that leg and as you breathe, as you breathe, think about releasing that hip. Ooh. And walk it up. And I'm not gonna bore you with all of the technical muscles that it's stretching, but piriformis, I mean, just really everything in this whole area and it's awesome. Um, women especially hold a lot of stress in their hips, so this is a great one for that. I'm gonna show you the other side and maybe show you like a front angle so you guys can really see. Okay, so I'm on my hands and knees. This knee will come up and I'm gonna walk my foot under, walk this foot back. So now I'm sitting like this, okay? Now I'm gonna walk myself out and just lay on the leg. All right, like that. Now as you do this, you can sit in this pose. Um, in yoga class, I would sit in this pose for like two minutes. Your foot might start to tingle when you come out of the pose, bring yourself to downward facing dog, like this, and push your knees down and sort of do like a runner's walk stretch, okay? And that's just to sort of shake blood back into the legs and get your circulation going again. So those are my three favorite stretches. I hope you guys try them and um, enjoy them. And I am gonna go do my workout now. Yay, day 81! <laughs>